congratulations to Javante Davis for making Hector Garcia quit after the eighth round in the corner. Javante hurt Hector Garcia real bad in the eighth round, where he made Hector Garcia quit in the corner right after that. Hector Garcia was hurt so bad, he didn't know where he was at the end of the eighth round. He even tried to walk the tank corner. That's when Hector Garcia corner requested a stoppage and the referee waived the fight since Hector Garcia refused to answer the bell to begin the ninth round. Nevertheless, this was a very entertaining fight and the fight pretty much went exactly how I predicted it. I told you guys that the fight was going to be competitive early. Hector Garcia is going to win some rounds. But as the fight goes on, Javante Davis is going to start finding his target. And because of his speed and power, eventually he will get Hector Garcia out of there in the later rounds. And that's exactly how the fight went. Javante showed us once again that he's a beast and a pound for pound fighter. There's levels to this game and Javante is on a whole nother level. From the first bell, the fight was competitive. Hector Garcia took a page out of the Rollies book by keeping Javante at bay. The first three rounds were really fill out rounds as Javante was studying Hector Garcia. So was Hector Garcia. Then in the fourth round, Javante started landing his right hook and his straight left hand. Javante actually managed to buckle Hector Garcia in the fourth round with a haymaker hook that Javante really sat on. But Hector Garcia has an iron chin, so he took the punch well. For the most part, Hector Garcia was taking Javante Davis' punches well. At least the ones he saw coming. Now from the fourth round forward, Javante started taking over. Even though Hector Garcia was doing good work of his own. Landing counters to the head and the body. Utilizing his jab effectively. And setting up the straight left hand. What made this performance by Javante so impressive is the fact that Javante had a very gamed opponent in front of him. Hector Garcia had over 400 fights as an amateur. He's an Olympian and a world champion at 130 pounds. So that made Javante raise his game. First, Javante started countering Hector Garcia. Then Hector started countering Javante. That's when Ford told Javante, Wake up, you gotta counter the counter. So Javante made adjustments and started doing exactly that. Both fighters kept making adjustments. At one point, I felt like Javante was waiting too long for Hector Garcia. Clearly, Javante doesn't like to make any mistake. But as soon as Javante increased his punch output, he put a hurting on Hector Garcia and started dominating. This was definitely high speed chess. A lot of the time Javante was missing with the straight left hand early on was because Javante was not setting up the straight left hand with the jab and the right hook. But as soon as he started doing that, as the fight continued, Javante started landing the left hand more and more. And after the seventh round in the corner, Calvin Ford told Javante, the fight is close. That's when Javante came out with the intentions of ending the fight. And he did exactly that. Now, Javante tried to walk down Hector Garcia. However, he started actually getting caught with uppercuts and hooks, so on and so forth. Then all of a sudden, Hector Garcia looked away to the crowd. And surprisingly, the referee actually paused the fight since both Javante and Hector were looking away to the crowd. There was apparently some type of brawl in the crowd but as soon as the fight resumed, Javante went back to work. Javante ended up catching Hector Garcia with a series of left hands. One of them ended up buckling Hector Garcia real bad. And this time around, Hector Garcia didn't see it coming. That's when Javante went for the kill. However, the bell actually saved Hector Garcia. Hector Garcia didn't know where he was as soon as he went to the corner. He ended up waving the white flag. He quit. So congratulations to Javante once again. This was a very impressive performance. I give Javante an A for this performance. I mean, he fought a very gamed opponent. He's a world champion that has all of the skills in the world. And Javante made him quit. Javante made Hector. They call him the android. But I call him the upset Garcia. 
after he had a hell of a year last year. Javante made him quit. Listen, come April 15th, Ryan Garcia is in trouble. With that being said, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace. Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.